Welcome to Nafi Paints. In this video, I'll be showing you two different ways how I do my rivets. Adding rivets can be very tedious and time consuming, but doing this extra step, I think, really brings the terrain to life. With that, let's crack in. For these first rivets, I've got this electrical wire. I've got four strands of wire joined together. So using some scissors, I simply just cut the size I want the rivets to be. Try my best to keep the heights the same. Once these strands are cut out, I take my hobby knife and a little bit of plastic in the middle, I just cut that away, separating the rivets from each other. After about 30 seconds, I got myself a few rivets to start applying to the model. So to apply the rivet to the model, I just get a toothpick and some PVA glue. I put a little bit of glue down where I want the rivet to be, and I'll just put down the glue on the entire panel this way. And with my hobby knife, I just carefully pick up the rivet and gently just place it into position on the model. And I just repeat this process over the entire panel. You can leave it here and the rivets will be done. They have a nice flat top on them, but I want mine to have a bit of a rounded top. So with that PVA glue fully dry, again, I just take my toothpick and some PVA glue and just go around putting a little bit on the top of the rivet, letting that settle into a nice round top. And that's the first type of rivet completed. For the second type of rivet, and I personally prefer using this one myself, I got myself some plastic cement from two different companies, Mr. Hobby and Tanya. It doesn't matter which brand you use, and you can either mix them together as I do in this video, as it makes absolutely no difference to the end result. So I need to make some sprue goo, so the first thing to do is cut down some sprue with some scissors, placing it into the plastic cement. When first doing this, you're going to have to add a lot of sprue. I made this sprue goo about six months ago, so it's dried out a little bit. So to fix it up, I just top it up with a bit more cement, a few more bits of sprue, and just let that sit for about six to eight hours. Once that's fully melted, the consistency I'm looking for is not too thick or runny, just enough so I can make the little rivets and they'll hold their shape. If it's too thin, just add some more sprue. If it's too thick, just add some more cement. To apply the rivets, I dip a paper clip into the sprue glue, leaving a little bit on the tip. And like with the PVA glue on the previous rivets, I just go around dotting this onto the model. When placing it down, if it's too runny or the wrong shape, you can just wipe it away with your finger. Once I'm happy with the shape, I just let that dry. It takes about 20 minutes to fully dry. Apply one coat of this is fine, but the rivets are a little flat. So to raise those up, I apply two to three more coats and just slowly build up the rivets until I'm happy. And with that, the rivets are done and ready for a coat of paint. Thanks for watching Navy Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch up.